how being different makes all the difference. This is my talk. My name is Alessandro Taini. I'm the art director of Ninja Theory. Today I'm going to talk about the visual process uh, we, I like to do, to, to do in Ninja. This is me. I, I want to put myself in a, in, a, in a slide just to explain where I come from. I come from Italy. Uh, I've been uh, 11 years in Ninja. Uh, I was a concept artist first uh, and became senior and then visual art director. Uh, you can see my inspirational um, reference over there. Like, uh, I love uh, comics from the 80s, 90s. I come from that. Um, how you can see there are no games. There are no games because before I joined Ninja, I never played a game. And I never actually, I was not interested. Of course, now I love it because it's my work and because I love it. But I was totally going to, to another direction. I was a painter. I wanted to do something totally, totally different. And they thought, as a ninja, they thought this could bring something different. So maybe, I don't know if I've done, uh, I've done a good job, but it's up to the other people today, but I hope so. So what being different means? To me, being different means every day we uh, looking around, walking around, we see, we are surrounded by um, ordinary things and uh, normal people. But when you see someone special and different, uh, you, you, you really, you feel like, wow, that, that is crazy, that is special. It's someone that stands up uh, compared to the others. This guy is in Cambridge, and every time I walk around, it's like, oh my god. He's actually, uh, he does exactly the same thing he does the other guy, playing the guitar, asking money, but he does in a way that you can't forget. So being different to me is mean challenging, challenging your expectation, uh, creating your own interpretation of things, uh, an up, uh, unconventional approach, not following the mass, is mean not do what other people are thinking, but do what you really believe. So be an artist, because we are, and we need to remember that anytime. So challenging expectation. So if I tell you post-apocalyptic, uh, straight away, and 99% of you, perhaps they're thinking about that, the destruction and uh, death and uh, monochromatic stuff. In Ninja, we have been doing that in 2008, Enslave. Um, and later on, I explain you the creative, the creative process out of that. Same thing for the hell. If I tell you hell, is, is normal because we got our you know, culture and, and, and uh, reference culture, we're thinking about fires and de demons and stuff like that. But in DMC, we create our, our hell. How we can come out with that? So we, I, I've been, so sometimes things is coming really natural to me. I've been trying for this talk to break down uh, a, a method. And uh, visual uh, brainstorming is really important. Uh, it's not about thinking about uh, an, idea, uh, an idea brainstorming for a game, but actually, once you got the idea, how to visualize the idea. And try to get uh, a creative process to get more uh, different ideas as possible. Um, keywords, I, like, I really like to write down an, a word that represents my idea, only one. So it's, it's very easy, oh, maybe two, if you want, but very few words that represent what you want to explain. Visual associations, I love it, it's, and which is uh, connect to uh, metaphors. It's like when, when you got uh, in mind uh, one thing, but you, to represent that thing, you use other uh, elements that apparently doesn't work uh, each other. So if you, let's go back to the post-apocalypse I showed you before, just to explain my point. If, um, if you tell to your team, I want to make a post-apocalyptic game, you hand it to your concept artist, someone um, working and doing things like I showed you before. And to me, is you, you completely destroy the creative process. If you want something post-apocalyptic, you don't need to write down post-apocalyptic. But you can find words that represent that without a visual connotation. So, uh, for example, uh, post-civilization or after war or whatever you, you like. 
After that, you may think, okay, uh, there, is, there was a war, new life, growing, what growing, uh, nature growing, so uh, like, let's, let's, do, let's do something like that. Let's do something, you know, um, this is a new life, uh, nature growing, so this is enslaved. Same thing for the hell. When we work in, in, uh, in a creative process, I like to take um, a word we, we have and try to uh, extract from the actual context and think deeply about, about that and, and maybe changing the, the visual, uh, visual. So hell is pain, can be corruption. Why corruption? Because it's, you know, like uh, in, in uh, Dante, Dante Inferno, the Divina Commedia, Dante used to put like in the hell a different level and uh, there was one for politics, one was a corrup corruption, one was like uh, even the priests were in, 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 the, in the hell for him. So in, in, uh, for, um, for David McRae, we wanted to represent the hell through re the reality. Um, we live in... A, we, we, in the game, the reality was bad. It was uh, like dominated by people that threw politics and and um, and, and 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 TV try to you know um, change uh, your your mind or something. Um, so associations are really stimulant to me. Like I like to to think about two totally different um, elements to to, ex to explain my point. So, for example, in this case, there are two elements that doesn't work, but creates a symbol that uh, is, is, you know, it's the idea. If I show you, uh, if I show you this uh, silhouette, now uh, concept art is working a lot of with silhouette. If I show the silhouette, I, I'm pretty sure you're thinking about a tree and uh, nature and stuff. Uh, actually, it's a piece of junk with pipes and stuff like that. And uh, this was the idea under uh, Enslay. We really, I really wanted to get one point through another visual. So I want to make a forest through uh, junk. And the only way to do is work with silhouette. So try to get your idea through totally different elements. Same thing in DMC. <coughs> Read, uh, extract the visual, uh, you, you got your mind. Um, and, and try to see from di from different angle and and maybe make a uh, uh, and like a chapter where everything is upside down um, just because you, you see a, a reflection over there. So you take two things that apparently doesn't work. Well, if uh, the guitarist is a really bad, you may tr trash him, but um, but it is not a, the, my point. <laughs> my point is like you take two things and you got a symbol of. Creativity, creativity, originality. Interpretation. So your personal, it's, it's really important to express yourself as an artist anytime. I like to say put yourself in your game or your project as not a digital double, of course, <laughs> I'm talking about, but I think about mm, bring your history, what, what you got inside. Each of, of us are different, we got different background and different maybe um, uh, childhoods and stuff like that. So if you take it uh, with you all the time, you, you have to draw something, I'm pretty sure uh, you, you can make something very, very original. Uh, I remember once I seen an interview of uh, Miyazaki, which is my main reference, my the master for me, um, was talking about Spirit Away. and. Um, in, he was saying that the city where Spirit Away is, is uh, that, that nice city uh, was actually a city where he, he, was, uh, he was living when he, or he was going vacation. And the little, the little kid uh, was actually the, inspired by uh, the, the daughter of one of his best friends. When I saw that, I thought, oh, for us, we see the things and we're thinking about, that is amazing. But for him, it's like, his, his, his art is normal, is where he's come from. So after I saw that, I said, no, I have to do the same. I have to really put myself. And that's why DMC, the city, is actually my city. It's Genoa. Uh, I've got Batman as well as a reference. Well, and um, yeah, when I think about interpretation, uh, when I was a teenager, I loved uh, that, that comic. I love the comic because it's inside. There are many chapters of, of the best artists in the world. From Mobius to Otomo of, uh, of uh, Akira, was making Batman and uh, Mignola, Frank Miller, 
and many others. All those people, they're making the same thing uh, with, a, with personality, totally different. Each button is totally different from each other. And um, that's really important. You need to get that if you want something different. And it's exactly what we've done with, uh, with our games in Ninja. We take a subject, like, for example, Ian Slave was Monkey King, and we're making our, our version, uh, our interpretation. Is a, is a, it was a monkey, so uh, this was the result. Like, um, nature was perfectly works with the example I showed you before. Same thing for DMC. We had made a bit of trouble with DMC, but we wanted to make our in interpretation of, the, uh, of David McRae. At that time, David McRae was really, really contemporary. But of course, 10 years after, you have to change. We are you're changing the, the style change. The, so we, we made a guy that is much more uh, part of our world, uh, uh, it's more, much more contemporary. It's much more uh, where we're living now, uh, with cloth. We, you may find in a shop here now. Even the architect is the same. Um, the, the MC was Gothic. If you, if, you know, if you have knowledge about art, you know that Gothic is not just one thing. It's, there are different types of Gothic. There is like a Neo-Gothic, uh, Romani Gothic. My city, Genoa, is full of uh, Romani Gothic. And I thought that <clears throat> to bring, uh, even to explore different uh, elements of art uh, could be interesting just, just to, to, to come out with something that have, haven't been done, done before. Um, and the sword in the previous game was just a sword. In our game, it's got a personality. So it's not just an object. We try to extract, again, uh, the visual things and, and try to represent it with um, personality. And this was a, a reason I put a lot of, of uh, attitude in my drawing, just to ex explain to the team uh, with one image, the feeling of the character is, is, is got. OK, approach is. Really important uh, reference. There are thousands of reference around, and I like uh, to, exp to, to show to my team a, a lot of stuff. Um, but we don't looking at only games. Actually, we don't looking at them at all. Um, there are different things. Um, I remember for the MC, I have to do like a flashback, uh, um, a flashback of uh, um, Dante past when he was young. So I thought the best way to approach the past is actually using uh, the past. So if uh, um, uh, talking again about the visual association, uh, association I did before, uh, I did the same thing, like uh, East, like old, uh, like the past, so old, so old masters. And I represent Dante exactly like in Caravaggio paintings, because I thought it was the only way, was a good uh, way to, to, to to express what I wanted to say, you know, is about his past, and it, it, it's matched perfectly even with the personality, actually, the, with the painting, because it was um, in the Caravaggio painting was a Dan, uh, was a David against uh, the, the giant, so in this case, perfectly matched perfectly the meaning. Surrealism as well, uh, I, I love it, but <clears throat> there is a lot. It's not just a picture. Sometimes you need, don't, we don't need to see only pictures. How things moving, uh, your team need to know. Um, it's not just a picture. You, you need to explain that, that there are ways to to find things even uh, through uh, through videos. Videos uh, helps a lot to, for the team to understand that it's not just a picture, but it's got a uh, personality. The city, in that case, was a monster in itself, and I really wanted to feel that that the city was moving. And the reference like uh, logos or crazy animation we find a lot online is really important. It's not only about uh, picture, no, they feel like it's alive. Even it's just a shape or, and things like crazy like that. And then we do a style test where we put uh, everything together and we create, we, we create uh, in game. Um, it's funny how uh, artists usually create uh, paintings like that, ideas, and, and the designers through your painting see things totally different, like uh, how the gameplay works. When I remember when they, I did that, those. When we made these paintings like this surreal, uh, surrealistic, the designer thought, oh, cool, we can use those, um, uh, with those things, Someone those crack here. just as a platform, you know, for the gameplay. And it was not in, in my, actually, intention. 
Now we, we work in a new game called Hellblade. <clears throat> and uh, the reference for a Hellblade, because it's in like Celtic um, Viking uh, environment, we, we went to, to different um, exhibitions and we thought it was really cool to mix maybe death and, and with v uh, Vikings element and stuff like that. We ended making a really nice uh, concept, but uh, perhaps a bit generic when, uh, when, the, um, when, when actually are in game, uh, it was very difficult, it was nothing, nothing really super, uh, super iconic. And one day the lead artist, the new lead artist, bring that, uh, like a video that completely opened my, uh, our mind. And when I saw it, I was like, wow. So that, that guy is just mental. And uh, I, will, I, w I wanted to show you because it's, it's, sometimes you, you can see element in not only on paintings, on concepts, or you need to do <coughs> above that. And when I saw this guy, <coughs> I was... Uh, I was like, oh my God, what it does? Using materials. It's actually it's very simple. It's just dressed like that, but it's got uh, using material that uh, in Hellblade actually works very well. In, um, it's got um, you know, like mug and, and water and element that uh, in, in game works very well. And it changes its form. It's, it's crazy. It looks like a bit pant labyrinth a little bit. And we th I thought when I saw ah oh, that is cool. I really want. I, re I think really, and the team is, um, is is very enthusiastic about it. I said okay, let's try something to use that as an element, as a as a reference. <laughs> this is weird without being a monster. Um, you have to try to to you know to be different even in, in this sense. You know, <laughs> like uh, how he's moving, how he does this crazy stuff. Uh, it's much more interesting than make a zombie where, was, where we were going to. And uh, so I, uh, we came out with some concepts. Um, this is some new concept for Hellblade, just using the same element uh, we saw before, the reference we saw before. So not following the math. Um, yeah, not for the math in sense, of course, we're making games for the math, but um, we, in, in Ninja, we like to, to be ourselves, to communicate what we like, and um, we, want, uh, we, we, we want to see outside the box, not be part of the box. Um, um, Picasso used to say that the enemy of creativity, good sense, good sense, if you make a product, uh, you have to do this, you have to do that. We like to go out from the box and be wild, be an animal, be, be yourself. Um, and that's why we, we made Hellblade. We are working Hellblade now. Uh, Hellblade is, um, is a new, new, new game. Uh, um, I can't much talk about it, but uh, it's, it's pure ninja. It's pure. It's pure because we don't have a publisher. Um, because we got freedom to do what we like. We are only 12 people. Uh, but uh, we want to reach uh, the quality of AAA with, with a small team. These are our, um, our targets. Uh, will be, it's it's going to be difficult. But we, we, doing that, we're going we're gonna to approach it in a different way how usually games, uh, usually uh, um, we, we have done even in the past. We try to, each person in our team has to be a super specialized on what he's doing. Has to be able to lead himself really well. And uh, came out with a solution for technical problems and because we are just one, so each one has to be really good. Uh, and it's essential for us uh, making a game where <coughs> we, no, we create a character not just to make a cool costume, but we try to, to, uh, to make, to, to talk about feelings, to, um, to show like um, feelings of this character through a game and try to make the player understand what she feels. Uh, all, of, all of the years in Ninja we've been doing that, a lot of um, our cinematics are really um, focused on that. But in this time we want to push even more. It's all about this character. And um, all the environment we recreate um, is going to be the reflection of, of her emotion. 
So we, we, I, you say, uh, how you can see, it's st still uh, um, very cr um, crazy, but it's going to be all, only about what she see more than what actually e is. And we got an example here. I, got a, I just took an example here about um, illusions in that in games we want to create. We try to appro approach a game in, in, in a different way in, in that sense. Um, not uh, making an environment just to the seek to, to, the seek to make a cool environment. I try to <clears throat> try to morph the environment. Try to think about uh, what she see. Maybe what she, the, the feeling she's got in that moment may change the environment. Um, the conclusion, I think I'm in time, <laughs> is that uh, artist is not just a job title, and is. Um, I feel sometimes um, it's just something you, you got it here, and uh, me as well, I mean, everyone. And sometimes we need to remember ourselves that we can use our games to communicate feelings as well, not only techniques or, uh, or how to make things super realistic or high res or whatever, but it's about communicate and, 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 um, and, 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 f and feelings. <clears throat> and I got a video to show a bit the process. Questions? No? Shy? Okay, you got it. Um, Hello. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, huh? okay, so, okay. So, yeah, he asked me, he just asked me um, about um, um, David McRae, how we, the fact the, the previous games were really different, uh, really um, uh, with a strong fan base, and how we, how, how we change, you know, we say, like how we change the, the art style of the game and, and the fact we made you know, people really kind of upset and stuff. No, the, 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 the main point, uh, if your client, which is the, the publisher, asking you, please change, I changed. <laughs> and uh, so uh, we, we started actually modifying the, uh, the first impact was, OK, let's try. In the previous games, uh, you see Dante, he's got just a different jacket, really. Um, so we, we started like that as well. We thought, okay, maybe. But when uh, Capcom saw that, they were not happy. Uh, they, want, they want us to do things that in Japan they're not able to do. Uh, say, well, you are European. We want you to, to, to do something y y yours. If not, we can make uh, the, the game ourselves. And that's why we were very happy and covered, and we, had, we were support, a lot of support from the public. We were, we were not fighting against them to, to, sh to you know, push our ideas and stuff like that. Well, actually, it was actually they were pushing a lot. So, perfect. Thanks. Hey, everyone, if we could have people come here to ask questions so that everyone can hear it and the video recording can get it, that would be great. Thank you. Maybe one, or maybe he's leaving. 
I know. Go on. <laughs> hey. Hey, John. How do you go about uh, collecting your reference? Because you've got like videos and stuff like that, and I often find when I'm searching for stuff that uh, like the words have connotations, and you get a lot of that kind of average stuff. Um, so I was just wondering how you go about like looking for stuff for, for I, are, are we looking things? Yeah. Um, well, you, you need to. Um, you, you know, you got your secret things. I mean, you go online and you. Uh, I mean, if you go online, you can find a lot of things. Of course, you need to keep uh, the, the words you we are talking about. You need to have uh, in mind exactly what, what you want, and you th you th um, thinking what you may could find. So when you're looking at uh, animation things, you know what you need. You may try in that direction. There is Vimeo, which is amazing. Got some really cool logos and stuff. So I go there usually to find. But um, um, in Ninja, usually we got. Um, uh, we got a fan chat where everyone, uh, every day, daily, uh, posting crazy stuff. And sometimes things appear, and so I take it and collect. So, you know, all team is part of the process, you know, like as the speech before, it's, it's not like a uh, one man thing, but uh, the team is really involved. When I understand what we're doing, <clears throat> they're really fun. They actually, we're, we're having a lot of fun to, to looking for things, and uh, it's very, very cool. Cool. Thank you. I, yeah, I love right. your style, man. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, thank you, Chief. Hi. Um, I had Stop. a question about just kind of defining style. Yeah. So when you set out to define style for a project and you start to collect all this reference, it seems to me, at least in my small experience, that like things start to kind of even out. Like you get a lot of different reference and things kind of like you, it's very easy to go towards an average. How do you maintain like that unique vector that's like different than the median reference you've collected. How uh, can you? How I maintain the, the through a lot of information. Maybe? Yeah. So like when you gather reference, you know you gather yeah, yeah, a bunch yeah. of reference that's yeah. similar. How do you uh, find as, the unique? Uh, yeah. As I said before, um, <clears throat> if if you mature artist, um, you you got your preferences, and that, that's it. I mean, it's very <laughs> it's very simple. To me, it's very simple. When when um, when when. When you collect reference, um, and when you, you know even the scope of the game, because of course, um, depend of what you have to do, the product in the end you have to do. Like, uh, if you need uh, um, the gameplay to be in that, the, you have elements in the storytelling, you, you need to find the, an art style that combine everything together. If you know you have no much uh, team, uh, you don't have a big team. Uh, and you, you know that the publisher wants something super quick or something. You, you can't uh, uh, looking for something too complicated or too. And you see, if you see your team, maybe it's not uh, the artists that they, they like specific style. Uh, you say, okay, I know them. They love that. Uh, I love that as well. So I, I try to find what what you like, but the, um, through the a channel of uh, of uh, your team and the needs your needs. But you have to, I mean, I have to go through you because you, you are the uh, art director and they, they, need your, uh, they need you to be super clear about that. Uh, if not, if you're not clear about what you want, they, they start working random things and, 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 yeah, and, and it's, a, it's a problem. In the end, it's a problem. I don't know if I answer. <laughs> yeah? Okay, cool. I have a short but very important question. When do you plan to release the Hellblades? <laughs> <laughs> when I know it, I tell you. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't really, I don't know. I know this question, so I ask my boss. If someone asks me, what can I say? And this, uh, this uh, is from Temim. It's not my, question. my answer, it's Temim answer. No, we, we, when I know it, I tell you. Uh, you know, we, we, the, the, the new things as well we're doing in Everett, which I, I hope you, you're happy about, we try to share more information as possible and uh, through, you know, the, uh, diaries. And um, we try to, <clears throat> we are a bit different in that sense as well. Usually uh, people, they're doing, uh, um, you need to wait maybe three years before show the concept, you know, or uh, before show the techniques and stuff. We, 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 we start this new way to, to you know, develop a game, and um, and it's actually very fun. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.